validating the sender, you know, through RCS, Apple Business Chat, we have the ability to validate the sender. We're calling it the blue tick, the blue shield of reassurance. You know, people and consumers are familiar with this from Twitter and from Instagram, you know, the verified sender. They know that this company that has sent them the message has been validated and approved not only by us, but the downstream vendor in Google and Apple and Meta. It's time for CX Education. Welcome to the podcast for enterprise CX professionals, the people who want to connect with customers on their own terms, before, during, and after a purchase is made. In each episode, you'll learn how to create experiences your customers love. Ready? Here we go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of CX Education. I'm Sally Darley, and this episode is brought to you by Cinch, a platform that helps businesses create mobile experiences customers love by connecting them with audiences on their own terms, when, where, and how they want. Today, I'm very privileged to have our guest, Craig Temkin, Director of Vendor Relations and Principal Solution Consultant at Solution by Text. Craig, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Sonny. Good afternoon. It's good to see you again. Yeah, you too. I'm, I'm super excited about today's conversation. You come to us today with a, a wealth of experience, both in public and private companies, You've worked for bootstrap companies, also the Fortune 500s, and you've also got great experience working across three different continents and have been in the messaging space for 20 years. So I'm sure you're going to give our audience some great insights on, on the world of messaging, where the market's been, where it's going. So really excited to have this time with you and be able to offer our audience this opportunity to learn and hear from you. Well, it's my pleasure. Hopefully we can give the audience something that's worthwhile. We are appreciative of their time as well. They take to listen to us. So hopefully this could be productive on both sides. Yeah, definitely. So as we get started, it'd be great if you could just give us a bit of background in terms of some of the past experiences I mentioned and what brought you to where you are now at Solutions by Text. Sure, with pleasure. Ironically, what brought me to Solution by Text is Cinch. Cinch was my first company, my first sponsor in the U.S. As my accent testifies, I'm originally South African, born and raised, got into the SMS, the text messaging game down in South Africa, then moved across to the United Kingdom, where I was introduced to what was MBlox, now Cinch. I had a great working relationship with them, and then as you guys expanded and came across the pond, as they say, I was offered the opportunity to join them had an amazing four and a half years with you guys, and at that stage decided to go into payments. I saw payments and fintechs coming about, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to learn and expand my, my skill set. Still had a passion for messaging, so when some of the guys at the payment company were afforded the opportunity to take over SBT, we had a growth capital event almost two years ago, took on a new management team, and that management team approached me and said, would I be interested in blending my two passions, my two skill sets, and bringing to market the first FinText company, merging and the convergence of payments and messaging, which brings us here today. That's awesome. And I mean, the foresight from yourself to, to look at these two industries, two industries that continue to grow. Both fintech and messaging are, are growth markets right now. What is it about those two areas that is a real passion for you and, and really made you want to make that move? Consumer experience. I think that drives me the most. You know, having experienced different use cases and different workflows, both in Europe, Africa, and now here, noticing the huge gaps between the two, also noticing the difficulty in some regards for consumers to make simple payments. You know, we have this explosion of Apple Pay and Google Pay, but you still require to have to log into your app sometimes. And if you don't have to log in, you have to add some biometrics. It's a little bit cumbersome. You know, so we thought, well, why don't we blend something that's ubiquitous, people use and send every single day, text message. Let's add a secure channel over that and make payments a lot less painful frictionless, if you will, where consumers have the ability within two or three clicks to make a payment. 
And that's, I think you hit on a, a really key point and one that we touch on a lot in this podcast is that impact on the consumer experience or customer experience. Simplifying people's lives really has a big impact on the success of a, of a motion or organization. And it's great to see that that was at the forefront of your mind when you and the team sort of drove the future of, of SBT. It'd be great yeah. to understand. We all do it. You know, you do it, I do it. We vote with our feet. If we have yeah. terrible user experiences, we move on. Competition is king, you know, and you get one crack at the consumer. You know, if they have a terrible experience, yes, they'll give you a bad rating, but more than likely they won't be a return purchaser. They won't return to use your service. And that for me is crucial. Yes, we can look at MPS scores and we can look at other metrics, but ultimately the metric that counts for me the most is user adoption, user penetration, you know, and return transactions, return purchases. Yeah, hundred percent. I think we are now at an industry or in industry where the, the value of customer loyalty is probably at the lowest because we've got so much choice. And as you said, people are voting with their feet and with their credit cards and, and it's very simple to move from, from one vendor to the other. In most circumstances, I think there are some which are intrinsically linked to, to the value of, of their brand, such as Apple or Tesla now. So those are some sort of very key examples of, of businesses that have been able to garner that loyalty. But I agree with you. I think in, in many, many cases, if people have a poor experience, they, they will look for alternatives very quickly. I think poor reviews is, is one symptom a bad customer experience, but actually losing that customer is the more significant one, Most which definitely. is quite difficult. Yeah. Um, and those companies so, you mentioned, they're partners. We see those as opportunities for growth. You mentioned Apple. We are in discussions with Apple to expand, to include Apple business chat. So you can have mm. this richer experience. We are in discussions with Google to expand into RCS, rich communication services, meta, WhatsApp, you know, to have communications and direct chats, not bulk terminations of messages, but personalized direct conversations, which are commercial. You know, you can add payments and transactions within those channels. We see those as growth opportunities as opposed to competition and hindrances. I mean, it's great to see that you're expanding into some of these up and coming messaging channels. I think from myself looking at the industry and looking at the next step, it really does seem that payments is going to be the next era of driving messaging forward. I think we, you mentioned that there's the element of being personalized, there's the element of conversational, and that's where we are right now. I think people expect personalized messages. People want to have a conversation rather than one-off messages, but the next phase, the next step is really how to integrate those other services. and. I think you and the team are at the forefront of payments. People are constantly browsing and communicating and purchasing. And if you could do that seamlessly, I think, yeah, you, you guys are in a brilliant position to be able to drive that, especially as you look to adopt and, and partner with some of these bigger channels. And for me, that, that's one of the key things is, is that customer experience. And it's strong, but I think the other thing with payments is, is the security element, right? Is how do you provide that extra level and layer of security because that that's from a personal perspective an area of concern and, and caution around sharing banking details wherever they meet is a lot of fraud online and, and especially with the renewed focus on on AI and how people can spoof certain, certain different things security is a big concern right now so how is that something that you're overcoming at SBT? It's crucial. I mean, we talk about user experience. You know, could you imagine a consumer coming back a week, two weeks later and seeing something on their credit card statement that wasn't theirs? Security is paramount. You know, that's we lead with security. Solutions by Text is a compliant forward first company that is our raison d'etre, if you will, our North Star. Everything we do not only has to be compliant, it has to be secure. We offer end to end encryption, OAuth 2.0 tokenizations. We tokenize beyond just the transfer of the message. We tokenize the actual payload as well. It is paramount. 
you know, you can only experience, you can only imagine a consumer's negative experience if they have their cards, you know, defrauded or if there's unwarranted transactions on their account. That is mission critical for us to offer, as I say, full end-to-end encryption and security. It's part of the peace of mind that you wish to offer your consumers. You know, you want to meet them where they are. You don't want them to be detracted. You don't want to create potential other drop-off points. You know, you come to, you get a message, and then you have to open up a second app. You have to find your username and password. If you can just click on that link, or even not even clicking on that link, transact within that body of the message with an operator, a live operator, you know, that is a far greater experience than having to navigate away, find your username and password, even if you have a single sign-on opportunity. You know, how much do I owe? What is my account number? Do I have to fumble around and find my invoice? What happens if that was automatically populated? All those data fields were populated. And then, as you say, you have that peace of mind that it is a secure transaction. You have that assurance and that guarantee. And we spoke about rich messaging. That goes a long way into that. Validating the sender, you know, through RCS, Apple Business Chat, we have the ability to validate the sender. We're calling it the blue tick, the blue shield of reassurance. You know, people and consumers are familiar with this from Twitter and from Instagram, you know, the verified sender. They know that this company that has sent them the message has been validated and approved not only by us, but the downstream vendor in Google and Apple and Meta. How important do you think that verification is in terms of building that trust with the consumer of, I am talking to the the organization or business that I think I'm talking to. So is that something that your customers talk about a lot or, or explore a lot with you? It's paramount. It's within the first few questions that we field. You know, one of the major stumbling blocks, one of the major hurdles that a lot of our companies encounter is the drop-off rate. People receive a message, they're not sure who it's from, they can't validate the sender, they potentially think it's spam, they don't action the message. You know, the conversion rates are very low. We've noticed that the conversion rates grow parabolic. They skyrocket, it's almost hockey stick. Once you validate who the sender is, you have that peace of mind, that reassurance that, oh, this sounds logical. I know that company. I have that account. I use that merchant or I pay that bill. This sounds rational. You know, this is correct. And then I look at the top of the message and there I see the name, Harley Davidson, eBay, Con Edison. You know, these are companies that we use and that use our service. They have that reassurance. They know. You know, so in terms of not only customer adoption, but client adoption as well, it is paramount for them. It is something they actively look to implement. Let's go to him. So we've spoken about security. We've spoken about trust and, and verification. And there are always challenges in, in any business or any organization. What do you feel are the, the biggest challenges for you and the organization moving forward? And how are you planning to overcome them? Well, as I mentioned, we are a compliance first company. We lead with compliance. Everything we do aligns to both the TCPA and the CPFB regulatory requirements, not only from the CTIA perspective and from the cell phone providers perspective, but also from the consumer protection side of things and the credit protection side of things. You know, that is for us paramount, you know. And can be, be honest, sometimes challenging. You know, sometimes we have prospects that wish to skirt certain requirements. It can be a fine line balancing between consumer and client needs and the regulatory requirements. As I mentioned, SBT is a compliant first company. Everything we do has a overlay of compliance, both from the TCPA side as well as the CTIA side. We have effectively two government bodies on either end of the spectrum that regulate our industry. You know, and part of that reassurance is making sure that our provision clients have that peace of mind. Everything they do is compliant. Clients are, uh, 
their end users are double opted in. We're sending the messages in the correct time, the correct manner, and the correct tone. And that can be sometimes a little bit of a balancing act, addressing both requirements. Yeah, yeah thank you for that. I, I, can, I can't even begin to imagine the, the complexities that you get, not only from looking at, at messaging, but also adding in payments there. They're, they are two very heavily monitored industries and, and heavily regulated industries. So glad to hear that that compliance is always priority for you and the team in how to drive BT yeah. forward. It's part of the reason SBT has been so successful and we've experienced this immense growth. You know, we focus on highly regulated industries and they come to us for that knowledge and that expertise. We do not service cowboys. We want to protect this industry. We don't offer unregistered short codes. We don't offer unregistered 10 DLCs. Everything has to be registered. Everything has to be compliant, both on the, as I say, the TCPA side, as well as the CTIA side. Yeah. Right. So moving sort of a little bit forward on to the future, what do you see as the, the sort of emerging and upcoming trends within the industry? And what are you most excited about seeing? Very excited about rich messaging. You know, whether it be WhatsApp in Mexico and Europe to Apple Business Chat and Google RCS in the US. The ability to personalize the message, the ability to add content to the message, rich media to the message. Think of the use case where here, Sunny, you have a biller. You know, and not only is it coming from a verified sender, as we said, that blue tick, that blue shield of reassurance, but now you have the ability to see your statement right there. Again, you don't have to navigate away from your messaging experience. You are in the messaging client, and right there is your statement. You know, maybe right there, you can have a direct conversation with an agent, you know, that can pass you information and say, okay, well, I can see here's a statement from two months ago or three months ago, or here is your account balance if you wish to find out. You don't have to navigate away from that messaging experience. Don't have to open an app, another application. Everything is right there. People always talk about meeting the consumer where they are. Well, this is where yeah. the consumers are. Why are we demanding they come to where we are? No, sorry, you need to open up my app, go to your account section, find your statement, download it. Why can't I just be having a conversation with an agent in real time on demand and say, Sonny, do me a favor. Can you just show me a copy of my statement? And right yep. there and there it comes. Not a hyperlink, nothing that they have to click. It's actually in the body of the message. Yeah, I 100% agree with you. I think that simplification of some of those engagements is, is really where we can really add value to, to that customer experience, whether it be, and this is so powerful in so many different industries, whether it's from a marketing perspective, a sales perspective, customer experience or customer service, sorry, regardless of whichever interaction it is, if you simplify the way that a customer can interact with you as a business, they're much more likely to interact. I think from my perspective, I, I always use Amazon as one of the key benchmarks for customer service. It's so easy to contact them. It's very easy to communicate with them and it's very easy to get a resolution. And yeah. if every other business transacted in, in a similar fashion where I could contact them whenever I'm on 24 hours a day, I could contact them via the means that are suitable for me. And more and more businesses are doing this. I went away a few weeks ago and we were in a, a nice hotel in Greece. And as soon as we checked in, they gave me their WhatsApp chatbot and just told me anything I need throughout my break, I could just ask them on WhatsApp rather than calling into reception, wherever I am, I could just send them a WhatsApp and they will respond instantly. I had dinner reservations. We had extra things we needed for the little one. If we wanted to change something straight away, it, it was, it was a revelation. And generally the hotel and holiday industry are very good at meeting consumers needs. Usually you pick up your phone, call reception and ask that same agent, but they took it one step further and put it in at my fingertips at all times, rather than having to either go back to the room or back to the, the reception desk. So yeah, I, I completely agree with you. If you add 
personalization and you make it simpler, those are some very powerful elements that can really invigorate and drive that customer experience so much higher. Yeah. And you, I'm sure, recall that peace of mind that you got when they gave you that WhatsApp number. Could you imagine yeah. how much greater it would have been if instead of maybe a bot, they said to you, here is our WhatsApp number. It comes directly to Chad or to Sylvia or to Sarah, and you can have a direct conversation with her. You know, thankfully, we've just coming out of COVID, and a lot of people had, unfortunately, financial hardships. Could you imagine if you're getting hold of your car company, your leasing company, you know, and you're having a conversation with them and you say, hey, can I freeze my payment in July? And the agent will go, well, let me have a look at your record. You're not on hold at an IVR or a call center, you know, having to push one to get to this operator or two to get to that operator. You have a direct on-demand communication channel to have these con the conversations. You could be going away, as you say, to Greece and you're getting hold of British gas or in the, UK, in the US Con Edison. And you say, listen, I need a little bit of extra cash for the holidays. If I turn off my geezer, my generator, how much money will I save? And there they are working out in real time, almost like a web mm. calculator with you, seeing what your consumption would be. You know, you can see your meter because they have some kind of dynamic graph there that shows, okay, well, if we freeze this, you know, you turn off your geezer or your heater for while you're away, you will save 20 pounds, $30, you know, yeah. that could go towards your holiday. Enjoy. The consumer walks away with a far greater experience. We said earlier at the top of the call, there isn't much traction. That is the traction merchants, billers are looking for. You yeah. know, that's what provides traction and stickiness, that user experience. Yeah. Yeah, no, I 100% agree with you. It is what provides that stickiness and what makes you want to come back. Yes, I mean, messaging has evolved. You know, when I first got into the industry, it was one-way bulk messaging. People would upload a file and send out X amount of messages, a million messages, 10 million messages. Sometimes consumers would get them. Sometimes they would respond. And if they would respond, it would go into like an ether and never get answered. Now, yes, obviously we have that ability to send bulk messages, but we can have one-on-one -on -one direct chats, conversations with end users, agent operated through various channels, whether it be SMS, MMS, and as we say, the rich messaging coming down the pike, you know, you have that ability and the reassurance knowing that this is compliant. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have your short code shut down. That's another major concern of clients when they come to us. They say we work and operate in highly regulated industries. You know, we have to have the assurance that if we are going to put some investment dollars or pounds into this initiative, it's not going to get shut down in six months to a year. We need to make yeah. sure that this code is available going forward. We are building a brand around this communication code, around this short yeah. code. And that's part of the reassurance that SBT, Solution by Text, provides. Working with the CTIA, sitting on their council, going to mobile world congresses and sitting on panels and discussing. So when certain challenges come down the pike, like Regulation F and the Facebook ruling, and clients ask us, can you do this? Can you do that? We can speak with absolute certainty. We can. We are the thought and knowledge leaders in this field, and we provide them with that reassurance. That's, that's brilliant to hear, Craig. Thank you very much. I, I can't believe our time has flown by already. Wow. It's been a, a super insightful chat. I've loved learning about more about what Solutions by Text can do and, and is doing and also your art for the future. So thanks for, for sharing the past 20 or so minutes with us and for giving us a, uh, an insight into the organization and also your experience within the industry. Thanks, Craig. My, it's been an absolute pleasure. My pleasure, Sonny. I have a lot of love for Cinch. You and I always have great conversations. You know, it all builds well for the future. You know, very excited for what's coming. You know, excited to finally meet you in London personally soon. Maybe grab some Nando's. Always good. <laughs> no, but it, it was my pleasure. Anytime, happy to help. I hope your listeners find it as entertaining and as productive as I did. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. And I'm looking forward to that, Nando's. Thanks, Me Craig. Too.
That's it for this episode of CX Education. Thanks for joining us. This show is brought to you by Cinch, the technology company that helps you create mobile experiences your customers love. Did you enjoy the episode? Then make sure to subscribe to CX Education wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts or visit cinch.com slash podcast to get instant access to all the latest episodes.